checklists. Pilots use them, construction sites use them. In fact, every day we use them. In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you how to create your very own checklist folder. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. Now, I'm going to be honest with you and I'll just admit that I have just finished reading the Checklist Manifesto book. I put a link to the book in the show notes because this is a must read book for anybody who is involved or wants to become better organized and more productive. Now, as I was reading the book, I actually got this idea and thought, well, yeah, I have a lot of checklists, but they're, they're thrown out all over the place in Evernote. And I decided to get them all collected together using a label rather than a notebook. Now, the reason being is, is that I've got checklists for different types of work that I do. Of course, my fav favorite one is my weekly review, which I've recently updated, but I've also got other checklists like my morning ritual, which I've just created, and an evening checklist. And I'm gonna show you why I've created those and how long they take and how I'm using them in Evernote and linking with a direct link from my Todoist application. So let's go straight into Evernote and I'll show you how to get this set up and then I'm going to show you how it all links together into my to-do list manager. Okay, just before we go into that though, I would like to say if you do like this episode, please hit that like button below because that would really, really help me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh, please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Evernote and I'm going to show you how to set it all up. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a label, as you can see up here, called checklist. Now the reason for that is twofold really. I'm in the process of uh, changing the way that I organize my Evernote. I will be doing a video on that in the future when and if it starts to work. But what I've done is taken from the book the checklist manifesto. First thing, and I learned this from actually from one of the sections in the book which talks about how Boeing, the airline manufacturer, creates their checklist, and that is they actually create a little date stamp at the top of the checklist. Now, the reason for that is, is because checklists change all the time. So this is my 2019 weekly review checklist as created following reading that book. Now, my previous one, which is here, the weekly review checklist, now that was created on the 7th of January 2018. This was the last time I actually updated it. And this was basically uh, a my version of the GTD getting things done. Now, as we all know, that checklist is a generalized checklist for everybody and you do need to modify it. So I've modified my weekly checklist to be working for me. And it's a lot simpler, as you can see here, than the actual original getting things done because this is designed for me and it's not necessarily going to work for you. So what I've done here is I've got the title at the top and I've just put this in a nice a simple checkbox, which means that if I create a new one, I can just copy, highlight it and copy it and create a new list. So this is my weekly review checklist. Now my end of day checklist is here now. Again, I've got the title and I've got the date that it was created, which was yesterday. And now I've got here read confirm. Now these ones are just to confirm. So is to make sure that my phone is fully charged, that my iPad needs charging. Do I need to take my laptop with me tomorrow? Is there anything else I will need with me tomorrow? And that is right there. So those are the things that just to check, just a kind of a mental check if you like. And then I've got actual read and check. Another one which is to read out these actual checks at the end of the day, which is have I completed all my admin for the day, is all my feedback and written up and sent, did I do my exercise for the day? If not, why not? And that's just a check in my mind, why didn't I do the exercise? Because if I find myself making excuses for not exercising, I know I need to get my mind focused back on exercise because it is a very important part of my life. Have I given my dog, Barney, his evening medicine? And is there anything I need to add to the shopping list? And I have a shopping list in my uh, reminders app in, on my iPhone. And have I written my journal and have I done something to move close towards achieving my goals? So that's my end of day checklist. 
And now to be fair, to go through that, and I've been testing that over the last few days, which is why I've just added the date because I finalized it yesterday, is that that actually takes just a little over one minute to go through at the end of the day. Now, of course, that doesn't include any tasks that I haven't done, but they should have been done anyway. It's just a checklist. And I've got my start of day checklist right here, which is really, really simple. And I have to do this before I leave the house every morning, which is have I done my morning rituals, which is uh, my Korean learning, my planning and reviewing and my meditation. Are all my teaching materials downloaded onto my iPad? Have I planned my exercise for today? And have I given my dog his morning medicine? I also have other checklists in here, which is the sole immigration one, which is here, which uh, <laughs> this one is always something I forget. My next renewal date is the um, 2021. So I've got a long time before that. But these are the things I have to remember. And I always forget the residence certificate. So <laughs> that's something I really do have to remember to send or to take with me when I go to Seoul Immigration. I have a YouTube checklist and I have my uh, old one here actually. This was from January 2018. Um, this was my old end of day checklist which wasn't working how I wanted it to work which is why I've created my new end of day checklist. Now the thing is I've gone through the checklist that I've collected at the moment. I'm going to have many, many, many more because this year I've started to travel a lot more. So I'm going to create a travel checklist. But all these are kept in a label simply because uh, I want to be able to keep things in their own notebooks related to whatever they are. But the thing is, is that when we come to this, and I'll just go into my all my notes. So all notes are here. If I just click J, Command J, and I can go into, actually, because I've been checking this, checklist, and it brings up the list. So I don't actually have to do anything. It doesn't matter which notebook they're in. All the checklists can be kept under one label called checklist. And this is where I keep it. Now, the key to this is to take the link so that you can use it with your to-do list manager. So what I'm gonna do is now, let's do my start of day checklist. So if I create, click, it's control click on a Mac, and you go down to copy note link and remember you need to hit the option key to co collect the copy classic note link and then go into your to-do list so I've got here my to-do list manager and what I'm going to do is at the front this is to-do list that I use but you can do this with any I can actually put command V so I can put that in there and I can put brackets around my start of day checklist like this just put the brackets around and hit save now what I've got is when I come to this particular link, I can just click on that and it will take me, do I want to open up Evernote, allow, and it's going to take me straight to the checklist right from my desktop. That's really, really cool because it saves a lot of time. I can do this with my evening checklist, the end of day checklist here. So I can do a control click on the note and control click, copy note link, hit the option key, copy classic note link, and I can do the same here. What I'm going to do is save a little bit of time. I'm going to put in the bracket first. Always do that. Put in the bracket first. Move to the front and hit save. And now that's in. So that tells me, because you can see the little Evernote icon at the front, you can see that I've got everything there. And that's how you can take the most, get the most advantage out of these checklists. Now, the whole book goes into the reason why you should be setting out how to set up checklists and the keys to making it actually work for you. As I say, my start of day checklist is very simple and it is just to be completed before I leave the house every morning. I tested that actually this morning. It takes 32 seconds to do. Everybody can find 32 seconds, but at least it's going to make sure that you're not forgetting anything and you've started the day brilliantly. Okay, as I say, I recommend that you read the book. I'm going to put a link to the book in the show notes or in the notes below. I strongly recommend you get a copy of the book. It is a fantastic book. It's called the Checklist Manifesto, brilliant book, and I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive, productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. 
It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.